pours into a new decade with the Metro Goldwyn Mayer story. Download the new TCM Trivia app. We're challenging you to put your classic movie smarts to the test. Go to TCM.com slash vote. Hey there, thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Silent Sunday Night. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight from director Lois Weber in 1921, it's The Blot. This is a drama about two families, the Griggs. They're struggling to make ends meet on the father's meager teaching salary. And their neighbors, the Olsons, who are much better off. The Blot in the title is, in fact, a reference to a blot on our civilization. In this case, for the inadequate salaries paid to teachers. Many people would argue that's a constant that hasn't changed much in the 90 plus years since Lois Weber made this film. And if you don't know that name, Lois Weber, you ought to take note of her. Weber was one of the most talented and prolific directors of the silent era. And certainly she has been heralded as the single most influential female director of the era. Weber built a career around making powerfully emotional, finely crafted films like this one, many about controversial subjects that other directors were afraid to tackle. That being said, Lois Weber was mostly forgotten until the 1970s and 80s when several of her films, once considered lost, were rediscovered and restored. It's estimated that Lois Weber made as many as three or four hundred movies, both shorts and features. Of those, less than a dozen have been preserved. This film is generally considered Weber's masterpiece from 1921 and starring Philip Hubbard and Margaret McWord, produced, directed, and co-written by Lois Weber. This week's silent Sunday night feature, The Blot. <laughs> 